what we tried to do in this experiment was to introduce uh, uh, digitalization in aquaculture. Our idea was to set up and design a sensor network able to provide information regarding some parameters that are considered very important by producer to monitor and control the state of the production. So the sensors that were employed can measure different parameters such as oxygen, pH, temperature, salinity, chlorophyll and other things that are considered very important to follow the production. And all these sensors were put together in a sort of network controlled by an app an application that uh, uh, was designed to run on a smartphone or a tablet. This information is stored in a cloud and accessible anytime by farmers through their smartphone. Our region is one of the most important for the production of clams. It is worldwide recognized for this kind of production. The production, however, is very conservative and to introduce any kind of novelties is really critical. People do understand the potential of digitalization, but they also fear the changement. And so, especially at the beginning, it was tough to explain the potentiality of this approach and to make them conf confident with what we were proposing. The system allowed to get uh, many uh, benefits and advantages for people for, for producing plants. First of all, they can monitor the state of production, and especially now that climate change uh, are such an important issue, it's very important to know, for instance, the temperature of, of water, and also to be able to take uh, operations in case some parameters become critical. As a couple of examples, I could mention uh, the level of oxygen inside tanks where, for instance, clams uh, are produced or salinity in lagoons. So one of the problems that we encountered during the development of our experiment uh, was in the uh, digital education of uh, aquaculture people. Essentially, even though they understand the potential of this uh, approach, uh, they are not really expert in the use of app or smartphone or tablets and so they are not confident with the use of this technology. So we did really a big effort to develop an app that was very simple to use. Also from a visual point of view, the information was directly uh, accessible to these guys. What we would like to do in the future is to introduce also a GPS system on the sensor network to allow to control the movement of the sensor network through GPS technology. So Smart Aerials for us was an incredible experience, very important to give a kind of internationalization to things that we have been done for years. We observed that thanks to this new um, character of our project, we could really boost the operation. We had access to sites that previously we could not, and we had a lot of benefits to develop our research.